Hey guys, what's up? So, uh, I wanted to show you guys something that I- Hello, Luna, are you gonna be a part of this? So, Luna's just gonna sit next to me here. Anyways, so I wanted to show you guys something that I got in the mail today. Um, so the fad going around right now- I'm tucking them out with my hands. So the fad going around right now is adult coloring books. And, um, I've been on this fad for a while, like, from the time- Like, from the time I was really little until, like, I was 12, I guess. Oh, wow, you can see my boobs there. Do not ask what that is. Um, uh, I had coloring books. So for as long as I could remember, I always was always coloring and stuff like that. It was very artistic like that. I get it from my mother. <coughs> uh, so the fad right now is adult coloring books. Um, for stress purposes, like, um, I want to show you what this says. Okay, well, one of the ones that I have says uh, stress relieving patterns. And I think it's, is it this one? How explains it? No. This one maybe. One of them here explains what the purpose of it is. I think this one. I'm trying to keep it okay, yeah, here it is. Okay, so this particular one, uh, it's kind of like a bunch of mandalas and stuff like that. Um, it says tips for using this book. One, we have printed the pictures on one side of the page only for the protection of each individual picture. A sheet of this paper under the page you're working you're working on will offer addition, additional protection to the pages underneath. Right, I'm just going to skip right down to the last one. It says, for a stress-relieving coloring experience, reduce noise and other distractions while coloring. Coloring with focus and intention is calming and nourishing for your spirit. Um, so yeah, so uh, I hear that you're starting to even use it a lot in the hospitals. Or, well, you know, kids, they, you know, kids, you know, they do it anyways, it's what kids do. But they do it a lot in the hospitals because, you know, you're stressed already, you know, and then to add, on, to, add to that, oh, you're going to have to stay in the hospital for like two or three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, so I got three in the mail, um, and believe it or not, they were all together $12, which can be the price of one book. I actually have another one here. This came with a set of pencils, so this one is called Colorama, and uh, this alone, with the pencils, was 12 something. And uh, this has a bunch of them. Uh, let me see one of the ones that I've already finished. Oh, okay, here it is. So this one I already finished. This one is like one of the first ones I did. Yeah, there's a rock. The little dots are done with a uh, gel pen, and then the little spaces in between are pencil. And um, let's see here. Oh, this one I was just trying um the technique that I saw <laughs> that I saw on uh, <coughs> 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 I'm so sorry I'm not contagious I was trying a technique I saw on YouTube I don't know if you can see it there but um it's a uh, this kind these kinds of books the paper isn't always meant for wet materials and gel pens they tend to be very wet um. So what somebody uh, suggested, um, her name is Cher Kaufman. She's author and, and uh, artist of another uh, adult coloring book called uh, Artful Mandala. And uh, she's also, uh, she, is it, yeah? Yeah, I think that, yeah. I know, I'm, I was thinking of somebody else when I was just saying she was the, um, and uh, so her suggestion is if you're going to work with uh, gel pen, uh, color the area that you're going to color with, color in with pencil first, and then go and add it, uh, add the gel pen as a blending effect. Um, you can use, like, a, just grab it here because it's right next to me. Uh, she uses, because she's a professional, she uses butter brushes. Uh, this, like, a watercolor brush, God, it looks horrible. Um, uh, so you can use stuff like that, you can use it dry, you can use it wet. Um, for that one that I showed you, I used a uh, Q-tip actually, but I'm finding that uh, the color stays in the fiber, so it's probably not the best idea in the world to use a Q-tip, but yeah. Like this is uh, another, this one I did um, with just the pencil, or no, I used uh, pink, 
used a uh, pink uh, or magenta pencil and then um, uh, a pink, uh, metallic pink uh, gel pen. So it looks good on the, looks good on camera, but in real life it sucks. <laughs> it looks like crap on re in real life. Oh, this is another one that I finished. <clears throat> I think these ones are really cool. They remind me of um, when my mom came down to visit, uh, my little brother gave me a necklace, which I hate now. I don't hate the necklace, Johnny, if you're out there watching this. Um, which, dude, really, you got hit by a car and you were skating as soon as you got home from the ER? I'm sorry. <laughs> we on a big sister rant there, not, not the best time or place. Um, so, um, he gave me a necklace and it was, it was really, really pretty. It was purple, and the whole thing was encrusted in crystals, and I loved it. I uh, loved it so much that um, at the time I was wearing um, a guitar pick that I got from a concert, and um, I loved I loved my brother's necklace so much that I thought um, because it's time to get new chains for him, so I thought I'll get uh, new chains for them, but one of them I'll make no longer, so that way I can wear both of them at the same time, like a stacked effect. And um, I don't know. I better put this away because I don't think. There's any more in here that I Oh! Anyways, I'll finish the story before I show this one. And, um... <clears throat> and so... I can't wear them at the same time because there, you know... There's no way to do it. So I have them, um, in the box that my brother gave me to hopefully... Oh god, my hands have glitter on them. <laughs> and to hopefully take them to, like, Fast Fix and get, um, you know, and get, get them fixed. Uh, but one day I did wear it, and um, I was going to put it away, and I dropped it. Whatever, I thought nothing of it. You know, I thought, it, or no, I didn't. I, I saw it right away as soon as I picked it up. I'm like, oh my god, it broke. One of the wings broke. Um, and uh, luckily, you know, it came, didn't, like, all the crystals didn't come off. It just came off in a big chunk. And so now I can't wear it because the wing is bro wing is broken. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't do it on purpose, it was an accident, um, so I don't know how they would fix that, if I could put it, I, my grandpa would probably say super glue because that's his answer for everything, he's a typical man, super glue and duct tape, those are his answers for everything, um, anyways, so this picture, I really like, it's kind of like a stained glass picture, Wee. there we go. But there's like two lips and uh, I guess I don't know what those would be called. But yeah. And then the background is I did it kind of like um like it was in the morning light or something. It's just gold. I actually used up the gold pen on that. It's so sparkly. Sparkly. I love sparkles. Oh, this was the very first one that I did. This reminds me of Rapunzel actually. That's why I did it in the Rapunzel colors. And I also really like working with Sharpies a lot. So, yeah. Here's another one. Roses. I did, th these are the typical colors that I normally see roses in. So that's what I just did it as. I think that is it in here that I colored. But yeah, this book alone, this book by itself was 12 bucks. Uh, these ones that I got from Amazon today, all three of them together were $12. They were cheap. They were, one of them was $4 and the other two were $3. Um, so yeah. So if you really want to get in on the fad, uh, but you don't have a lot of money, go and check these books out because there's others that are listed as $3. So yeah. Um, so the one that I was looking in, uh, reading those uh, stress relieving things from, is this one. It's called Designs by Two Hoots Coloring. And like I said, it's just about dollars and stuff like that. I've actually started coloring one of them already. Let me see here. I put a sugar packet there so I would remember where it was. Um, I started doing it in uh, the creamy neons. So the center is yellow. And then there's blue and then green. And then like a pinkish color. And then these little things here are peach. 
And then what's going to be covering the peach is probably going to be like purple or something. I don't even know. So yeah. And then the fine lines I think I'm going to do with uh, glitter. So yeah, that's just one of them that I started. These out here. So I'm going to color it. Um, this one is uh, it's just called Adult Coloring Book Designs. Stress Relieving Coloring Book. Garden Designs, Mandalas, Animals. And paisley patterns. You guys probably saw some of the, some of them on that today. <coughs> so this is what it looks like. And um, yeah, I haven't started in here yet. Uh, I really like the peacocks that are in here, like this one. That's another thing is that I really, really, really like peacocks. So here's a peacock. I wanna see your peacock, cock, cock, your peacock. Yes, I did just do that, people. This, I can't figure out what the hell it is, whether it's a pheasant or what. I have no idea. If there's any pe any bird experts out there, let me know in the comments what the hell kind of bird is this. Because I have no idea. So there's like flowers and stuff like that. And this one is really pretty. It's a couple birds with a little ribbon in between their beaks in front of their cage. So yeah. So that's that one. The mandala is all the way here in the back. So yeah. That over there with that one. And then this one, I love butterflies. <laughs> As you may have figured out from my explanation of my necklace. Um, so this one is uh, butterflies and flowers. So yeah. There's actually a lot of pretty butterflies in here. Like one of my favorites is... Oh, this is this one. This one I really like because it looks like it's sketched. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like sketch markings all over it to make it look like somebody sketched it. Where is that one? I want to show you guys another one, but I can't find it. I think it's. Oh, look at this one. This is a flower. Flowers. These are flowers. That's like a mandala type one, I guess you could say. I think it's in the middle of the book. It would make sense. Yep, here it is. So there's that one. I so say, yeah. Um, this was one that was $4. So, yeah. You can go and check that out. This one is by Sharina Koei. So, yeah. You guys might want to uh, try and find her on Amazon to see if she has any other designs. Any other books. But yeah, this one was the $4 one. Yeah, which makes perfect sense. And then this one was, like I said, was $3. And the other one was $3. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, if you guys, uh, like I said, if you wanted to try and get on the fad of it, but you looked and the books are pretty expensive, like I, they could be upwards from anywhere from like, I want to say the cheapest can be about maybe $9 to all the way up to about $15, $16, maybe even $20. Depends on how good the, like how good of uh, paper is printed on and stuff like that. Like that Colorama one, the paper is pretty thick, but uh, Sharpies actually still bleed through. That uh, last one that I showed you with the roses, it um, that one bleeds through. But you know what I'm finding is that the metallic Sharpies don't bleed through. So, yeah. Oh, another one that I have is, I might as well just go ahead and show you all of them. <laughs> Let's see here. So... Uh, now, I love skulls, as you can as you can see, there's a skull right there. I love, like, skeletons and skulls. Um, so, it would only make sense for me to have this. So, this is the Day of the Dead one. Day of those Muertos. And this is actually very different. This is stained glass. This is uh, different than the other ones. Um, this one is actually really cool. I actually have a mandala one. It's a little one like this so I pretty much know how to color it already 
Um, but okay, this is the back of the page. This is where the color goes. So yeah, this is the one I'm currently working on. And then <laughs> I just have that piece of paper there, just in case anything would bleed through. This is the side that people see. So basically, you can screw up as much as you want on this side, but it won't be noticeable here. So yeah, like these leaves. Like if you look here on the back, where I colored. I tried so hard, so that way, you know, you could see the veins on this side, but that didn't happen. So yeah. And also what I'm finding is that the gel pens don't work on this kind of paper. It's kind of like, um, what kind of, what kind of paper would that be? Like tissue paper almost? Like maybe two or three ply tissue paper? So yeah. And, um, and there's actually tips again to think, um, okay, it says here, right, it says in here, if you color, if you color only one side, face the colored side outdoors to produce a crisper outline, wait, oh, you can color one side or both to produce rich combinations. Basically, if you color both sides, it'll become, um, wherever you color it, it'll become weaker, and, uh, you'll, you know, get a better, like, kind of like a prism effect. Um, but with this one, I don't think I can do that. Um, I might try, but I don't think I can. Like, look, okay, okay, these are supposed to be, all this down here is supposed to be done in metallic pen, which it's not um sharpie it's uh the right dudes i think and um i'll be honest i don't really like those ones i only bought i only got them because i needed uh copper and gold and um i i don't have enough money right now for the sharpies so yeah but anyways moving on oh that was by uh this is a dover coloring book and the author and artist is Marty Noble, so if you want to go and check him out, he has, um, I think some more, but I got this one at work, so yeah. There's another one on the back here, I take inspiration from if I find it in the book. Okay, now this one was the very first one that I got, and it's actually by Marty Noble as well. Um, this was the first one I got. This one I got for my birthday as a gift to myself. We went to dinner at a Cracker Barrel, and when we were done... Uh, we were, you know, shopping around the little shop, and I saw, I had seen this when we were waiting for our table. Um, it's a Paisley Design Coloring Book. I love Paisley Designs. My pillow is actually Paisley. <laughs> my pillow is actually Paisley Design, which, it's not the same as my bed. It's the bedspread. Alright, let's see here. Okay. Um, I was like, wow, that's actually better. Um, so yeah. So this is the very first one I got. And this one is also by Marty Noble and Dover Coloring Book. Um, so yeah. So it's just like a bunch of, you know, Paisley stuff. This one is actually double-sided, I think. Because, yeah, it's double-sided. But the pages are really, uh, kind of somewhat thick. But I'll show you right now. Alright, so this is the one that I've been working on peacocks it's not all the way finished yet this one has been taking me a while for some reason um but yeah here let me see if i can show you you can kind of see how the blue is coming through well you can't see it on camera but in real life you can see it i think that's the only one that i've colored in here because for some reason, Paisley's, they have to pique your interest, like, you have to play around with the colors in your head first. Whew, I'm so sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, that's the only one I've colored in here. But yeah, so this, uh, I guess would be considered an adult coloring book. So yeah, and this one was actually $3.99, so this one was pretty cheap too. But like I said, I got this one at Cracker Barrel, so um, if you live near Cracker Barrel or if you have one 
in your state, you might want to stop by and see if they have some of these, because I think they had dragons too and stuff like that. So you might want to stop by and see, well, how did this come out of the book? <laughs> this came out of the book, you guys. I didn't even notice it until now. <clears throat> That's another thing. If you get one with perforated edges, be careful because the more you bend it back, the more it'll come out of the book. So will just throw this in here anywhere. So yeah, uh, so that's it, um, maybe next week I'll make a video because a lot of, there's a lot of methods that you can use when you do coloring, I just so happen to use mixed methods, um, people, uh, some people prefer pencils, some people prefer markers, some people prefer the gel pens, I don't really care, I think the gel pens add sparkle to it because most of what I use from the pack is the sparkled ones. I haven't really found one that's just strictly sparkled yet, but um, I heard Sakura, Sakura, um, they, they, the moonlight and stuff like that is pretty sparkly. In fact, I think I may have ordered my mom a pack of Sakura pens. I'm not exactly sure. I have to look. If I'm not, I'll have to steal them. No, I'm kidding, mom. Um, so, uh, yeah. So maybe next week I will make a video for that for um uh for my methods but you know really it's you you have to play around with the colors in your head first and then look at what you have and like okay what colors do i have that you know would look good on this so yeah that's basically what it is all right guys well i'm gonna go now because it's Pretty late. I think I left my phone over there on the dresser. God damn it. I did. And I'm already laying in bed. So. Alright guys, well I'm gonna go because I wanna make a, another video. <clears throat> I don't know when I'm gonna I don't know when I'm gonna post that. I'm gonna be off from school and work for the next week. So I'm just gonna be making a lot of videos to post. So that way while I'm laying here in bed I can be like I'm gonna post the video, I'm bored. I'm sorry, I know I'm rambling, this is... I took a pain pill. So I'm like, what's this world? <laughs> so yeah. Come on, Looney, wanna say bye? Come on, you lazy girl. Come on, come on up here. Come on, say bye. Say bye to the internet. See ya. Say bye, we'll see you later. We will see you in the next one. <laughs> She's just like, Mom, put me down. Yeah, this is my child. You my girl. Hmm. Okay, bye bye. This antisocial. <laughs> no, this is this is basically her way of saying, Mom, I'm really tired. Let's go to bed. You guys can't see her. <laughs> yeah. You're ready for bed, aren't you, babe? Alright guys, well, on that note. We are gonna go. Whoa, that looks weird. <laughs> Again, pain pills. So, um, we're gonna go. I'm gonna make another quick video, and I'll probably make another one tomorrow. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. This video is already 24 minutes long. I will see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>